Hey guys, it's the Clumsy Geek, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved here on the Dino Realm server. Now, in the last episode, we worked on the castle walls, and now we have it more or less finished. But this time, I wanted to work on something different. Well, I still want to do some building, and I've been looking at some YouTube videos. I saw this guy, GG Fizz who is very great at building. So check out his channel if you get the chance. But I learned something from him. And in particular, I learned that dino gates like this can be used for more than just a simple gate. They can be used for something like uh, building walls and stuff. So let me show you something that I learned from him. So we can put stone fence foundations on foundations, that's it. Like so. And you might be wondering why would you need that because you can pop down walls like this one anyway. Well look at it like this. If we try to place a dinosaur gate like this one, there is no snap point, right? But if we place some stone fence foundations first, like so, and then place it, Look at that. Magic. It snaps now. Perfect. So we can put it like that. And the magic here is it would also snap the next dino gate snap to the other one. Like they can be adjacent to each other. Like that. So can I, I can actually make some walls out of that. Like this one. Yeah, and I can enclose that all around. And what's great about this is that you can make like semi-rounded structures because of that. It's so cool. Let's see. Something like this would do, I think. Because when, what I'm trying to build here is a actually I'm building a taming pen and I want it to be I want it to be like octagon like you know just like the UFC <laughs> the octagon look at that amazing so this is what I learned from GG Fizz's videos and in here we can put some walls if we're able to manage to put some stone foundations here like so so this would make them snap I think yeah something like that so we put everything all foundations although it is kind of hard to snap sometimes I think not there that works so we do that for all the sides and then we can put down some walls so something like this where we have stone fence foundations right across all the gates and what we can do here is actually because we want this to be a taming pen so I'm not sure how this would look let's just try it out now let's see if we can add something like this and this I'm not sure how it will look it might not be as pretty but it is functional nonetheless but let's just try it okay there how does that look I think it looks kind of nice it looks like a proper cage don't you think yeah I was expecting it to look a lot worse <laughs> okay compare that with this type because I was thinking this is also one possible way to do it um, something like this and just having holes oh, it's the other way around just having holes like this oh no that won't work yeah so either this gate like here or this window type thing like here or maybe we can make it alternate Hmm. I don't know. I think I like this more, this cage type thing. 
you know, it really looks like the octagon from that. And I'm making it out of stone, not out of wood, so that dinos won't be able to destroy it. It would be maintenance free, as long as we don't put the giga in here. Alright guys, I think I've decided this is what I like better. So I'll gather more materials and uh, we'll make this on the, all the sides here. Alright, that should be everything. Now we have the octagon and it looks super cool. I hope I can shoot through these though. I think I can. I think the only things that I can't shoot through are metal railings. But wooden stone should be okay. Alright, and in here, we can maybe put in a, a door, a gate. Perfect. And this is where we will go through when we finally tame our dino. I think this looks really nice. Yeah? Presenting the octagon, guys. <laughs> That's probably going to be the title of this episode. <laughs> okay. And up next, I'll go and go to the snow biome because I'm going to look for some wolves to tame, to test this taming pen out. Now we have a viewer, Taylor, who requested that I tame some wolves. So I'll go and do that in this episode because I promised that I'll be doing that after the castle walls are done. So guys, see you in snow. Alright guys, we are coming in hot with a female level 100 direwolf. Right in presence grasp. Let's do it like this. Bam. Perfect. Alright. That's nice. Okay, so how does this look? Can I shoot her from here? Oh, she saw me. Hmm. Okay, I hit her. That's good. So the fences are one way to go. And now I'm on prone. Oh, don't attack my door. I think the door is breakable. A few more maybe? Wow. Ah, uh, there we go. Perfect. Open this up. And I think I'm lagging. There we go. Alright. So she is a level 100 female. Stats look pretty nice. Now do I have some prime meat with me? I think present got some. In my trip in the snow. Uh, only three though. Hmm... <laughs> right guys, let me get some more and let's tame this girl up. Ah, we did it! Oh, perfect! Except... Nice! That was quite fast actually. Let's go through here. And take a look at your tame stats. Oh, just look at that jump. <laughs> nice. 1860 health. Stamina is 700. Weight is 241. Melee is 283. And movement speed is 130. Nice. Not bad at all. Oh, perfect. So what I'll do is I'll set you to follow auntie. So she can have a bodyguard. And what I forgot to ask Taylor is, because he had a name suggestion, I think it was Aki or Aki, I don't know how to pronounce it, but A-K-I. And I didn't, I forgot to ask if that was for a male or female, but I'm assuming that's for a male, so maybe when we get a male wolf, that's when we name it Aki. This is awesome. I kind of miss my wolf from the first season. And this is... Oh yeah, I really like the color. I don't have a name though. Because Aki would probably be a male wolf. I'm not sure. But yeah, I think we'll go and get some more wolves. And uh, make use of the taming pen once more. Although, 
I think I might introduce a few more improvements in this. I think I see some more improvement areas in this design. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so in order to show you what I want, we would need to make some ramps. But before we can make some ramps, we need some wood and thatch. So I wanted to show you one technique that I'm using. Normally, we can just use Fuzzy Wuzzy over here to get directly the wood from these trees. But the problem is, when I do that, it, I also get some berries and I get overburdened quite quick. You probably know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's one of the pains of having a mammoth. So what I do is I use this Bronto here to clean the place of uh, bushes and the lag. <laughs> okay, and then after that, I go in and harvest some wood. And in this way, I don't get any berries at all. And I just get the wood I want. Alright guys, this is what I was talking about. I simply added some ramps here. Just for ease of use. Because sometimes when we go around, and when we fall... It's hard to go back up here because here you can see it's quite high and ramps would be really useful so we can go around the place without any blockage. Something like this. See? It's very easy now. The only thing is I wasn't able to put some ramps in here on this side because I think it's too low already and it's getting obstructed. But that should be okay. We should maybe put some more here, maybe one or two ramps here and we should be good. And the fog. Thank you, fog. Perfect timing. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll go and do some of that stuff. And then I'll also go and uh, find more wolves to tame. See you guys in a second. Hmm. Male direwolf level 92. That is not bad, guys. That is not bad at all. I think I'll be happy with that. Okay, let me... Let's see, how do I get you though? With everything there. Okay, so you're you're the gray one. Okay, let me get you like so. Did I manage? Perfect. Yes. You alright guys. See you back at the octagon. Alright, we're almost there. The octagon should be spawning in at any moment. Where was it again? Why is nothing spawning? Ah, there we go. Okay, it's right in front of us. Alright. Let me drop you off like so. Nice. I love it. I love how easy it is now. Because I think it's... The octagon is quite big. So it's very convenient to aim. Let's see. Can I shoot you from this angle? Bam. Yes, I can. <laughs> Alright. So let's see how this improved ramps will help us with the taming. Okay. Come on. Bring out your head. Like so. Perfect. Why is it like uh, rotating away from me? I think it's trying to find the path. Let's see. Mm. I want a headshot. Perfect. Okay, I think we can stay here. There we go. Nice. Smooth and easy. Alright, some prime meats should take care of the job and where else to get prime meat but the northeast island over here, which is right next to my doorstep. We should be there any moment now and it will gain 45 levels, that's nice. There we go, perfect. Oh. So you, I will name CG Aki or Aki. 
Taylor, if you're watching, let me know how to pronounce this. And if it's the right, I mean, if I name the right guy. Or should it be on a girl? I don't know. Hmm. And I'm thinking. This just occurred to me. What if, instead of getting more wolves, let's maybe have you meet inside this octagon. So I'll set you next to our guy here, Aki. And I'll do the trick. The you trick. Almost there, guys. Just a bit more. There we go. Perfect. Gestation progress. So now she's pregnant. And, uh... Let's see. How long would it take? Ah, we are almost there, guys. There we go. Where it is? There it is. There it is. Oh, it's so cute. Imprint. Oh, that's so cute. Wait, wait, wait. I don't have meat. There we go. Let's get one here. Just look at that. <laughs> and he has the same color as Aki. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's get you here to this area. Oh, you are overburdened, I guess. Come here. Come here. Learn how to walk. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just look at that, guys. It's so cute. I think it's the first time I, I bred a wolf. I think previously I bred a saber tooth in the previous season. But the wolves, the wolves are really something else. Oh, it's so cuddly. I wish you can pet them now. Good job, Mama Wolf. <laughs> Ready to mate in seven hours. Okay, maybe we'll mate you again after a while. So we can have a total of... Hmm, I think an ideal would be five wolves for a pack. And then we can play with them. Like have them go around the map and just kill stuff. Like the, the wolf family. Anyway. Yeah guys. I think that's it for this episode. So I guess we, we were able to do a lot. Like the octagon. The octagon's awesome. I really like that design. It's so simple yet it's so different and unique. And we tamed some wolves. And we even bred a, a baby one. Right here. <laughs> so cute all right guys so i hope you liked it and if you did please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates but that's it for now this is the clumsy geek signing off and before i do i just want to announce something um i will be out on christmas holidays starting next week so unfortunately there won't be any videos coming up but by the end of December, I'll be back and we'll make more videos than ever. Right, guys? So stay tuned for that. And I'm not sure if I can manage maybe one or two more videos before I go, but I'll do my best. All right? So thanks for watching and have a nice day, guys. Bye for now.